Hey Scott, uh, Paul Cundiff here. Uh, Taylor and crew uh, took this puppy and dipped it this morning. Uh, the uh, said a lot of water rushed in from the front and a lot of water rushed in from the back. Um, and uh, back in this area of the transom and on the other side as well. And uh, back here, there's a plank that, yeah, right here. So water rushed out of all that area. So probably uh, what would be appropriate, and there's a crack in this bottom plank or a seam. They replaced, yeah, that's a seam. They replaced part of this plank either the lower portion or they replaced a little bit on top. I'm not sure which, but that's kind of curious. That was normally one plank. It's not a big deal. Uh, but uh, at any rate, the water didn't seem to be coming in from your plank seams. So that's a good thing. Uh, uh, so I'm gonna, uh, beyond that, I'm gonna do a little assessment on your uh, trailer. Because uh, it's definitely doesn't fit this thing right at all it's made for a much smaller shorter boat um the uh and it's really so here's a, here's a few things about the trailer that may lead you to the decision to go ahead and pull the trigger on a new trailer which would be a smart thing to do before costs go up even more uh for, so anyway so what we got on this is in order to load it he had he had to keep this boat about five foot back from the bow stop and he slid it up this far you know by hitting the brakes so obviously down here um this has gotten into this part right here um on the trailer and so if this boat was sitting where it was supposed to sit that would be even uh, when you go when you when you were to to unload, get ready to unload, and the rear of the boat comes up, the front of the boat pivots down, the boat would be on top of your, on top of your uh, tongue here. Uh, and uh, then uh, the other glaring error is your engine, which you can see where your engine is right there. Your engine is supposed to be forward of the center line of your axles. So, now the axles could be moved back, but uh, but you don't have any support for the last three and a half to four foot of the boat. And that's not good. Uh, the uh, These guys need to come off. These This style of loading guide, uh, one of my earliest restorations, I got done doing this guy's varnish and he had these sideboards. We took him, we put them in the water, took him out. And these sideboards basically had sand in them, uh, road dirt, road grime, and scratched the new varnish. Uh, of course, there are no fenders, so that's that's going to throw in the rain. It's going to throw road grime right up in into this. But these guys, these guys definitely need to come off and go to the to the, this style of uh, right here of loading guide that basically only touches where. Your, where your rub rail is. Um, so, uh, there's no brakes on this trailer. I'm sure the trailer package, trailer and boat package are above the 3,500 pounds. Uh, and so in basically every state in the union, you need to have brakes. So uh, at 3,500 pounds. So um, anyhow, um, the trailer is just not at all well suited for this boat. Uh, it's basically, you're going to tear the boat up as it's already happening on this trailer. So I'll show you our trailers. We actually have just built one for a U-22, which is what you have. And, um, uh, I will, uh, I'll go up here and show you the trailer. So 
So on our trailer, we could actually even set your boat on our trailer if you want to at some point. We're just almost finished with this. We're doing the electrical right now. But on our trailer, the bow of the boat comes right up and sits in this V. It doesn't touch any metal. It, uh, uh, it doesn't, uh, you know, so, uh, so anyway, uh, and then uh, we have our uh, axles set where those axles will be behind the center line of the engine. Actually, the center line of the engine and the center line of the front axle will just about line up. Um, we have a prop guard on here as well. And then these are the mounts for the, uh, the, the loading guides of this, this style loading guide right here. Um, all of our wiring is in, all of our junctions, connections are in junction boxes and everything is sealed with cord grip bushings. And so, uh, and then of course we have disc brakes on both axles and they are surge activated. I can put you electric on. Well, yeah, I could put you electric on, but uh, most people prefer the surge activator and so actuator. So we have that. Um, it's built out of the heaviest uh, four inch channel available. Uh, it's like 7.2 pounds per foot. And um, the trailer weighs about 1300 pounds. And so, uh, as I say, that other trailer weighs about that as well, but the other trailer too has uh, tubing and this is all channel. So those trailers uh, rust out from the inside out. You don't know you got a problem until you got a real problem. Uh, and of course our fenders are, uh, uh, we have aluminum alloy wheels, radial tires. Our fenders are the uh, aluminum tread plate. And uh, this is what we would put your, your boat on. I will send you a, uh, I'll send you a, um, uh, a, a, a invoice for one of these, or an estimate for one of these. I can turn it into an invoice. And then this is the bow stop for, for the boat. So this connect, this, this bolts to that. And this, you can see how wide your target is and your, your bow, goes in at the level of where you have your rub rail so it doesn't touch your wood so if there was to get dirt and grime road grime in the in, embedded in the carpet it's touching the, the steel the stainless steel and not touching your wood stay tuned for more assessment information later